Wisconsin and we're in Wisconsin right now it is the night before the first week of turkey hunting and it is April 18th I believe let me check my watch quick uh, I'm sorry for the the light conditions I'm putting turkeys to bed right now and they're gobbling like crazy roughly 650 yards away I had one tom across the road from here with a couple hens and two toms came right from behind me and I'm gonna go be go after these and the work comes as soon as it's dark out I got my tent stakes decoy and a chair in the back of my truck and when it's pitch black out I've got 500 yards to walk across that field and get that tent set up hopefully in the right spot so I'll see you get a good night's nice rest folks oh, my god so welcome to Wisconsin it is opening day of turkey season and it is insane we have probably 20 to 25 mile an hour gust right now with a heavy sleet pretty much a snow right now unbelievable uh, this morning didn't really pan out very well so 8 o'clock we got out of here went and picked up some new decoys because mine are might have seen better days and fill their pockets full of snacks and here we are one good thing with this surround view blind I've got the double bull 270 surround view which gives me one black side everything else surround view the sleet has kind of messed it up but I could probably see if there's something coming in I got the windows up typically you wouldn't be able to see but I still can see a blurry image outside normally it would be clearer but with all the snow on there there's it's hard to see through but I can still I can pick out my decoys through that mesh right now and I can see pretty much clear where the snow isn't hitting this side of me so that's the one nice thing about the see-through blinds now other than that we're just got to stick it out enjoy my yogurt oranges and grapes I brought as long as they don't freeze on me See if we can't get something to come in. Hopefully we don't gotta sit all day because otherwise that will suck. Keep that spoon in there. Alright. This should be an exciting hunt. <laughs> There's still snow coming in here. They got one window open, snow coming in. But here we go.
is coming from that way. So, I mean, how close is he? I don't know. And they probably can't even hear my calls. But those hills are deceiving, so you never know. He could pop right up anytime. So, about a half hour, 45 minutes ago, there was a group of toms, two or three toms, with some hens across the road where I was uh, putting the turkeys to bed last night. And uh, I called, because the wind's blowing that way. They're a long ways away, but I called. And I got hens to putt at me. And I brought two hens out of the woods, and they came up to the decoys. And in the meantime, those toms and a couple hens and maybe some jakes, they cross the road. They're in this woods in front of me somewhere, and one just gobbled. So, right now, it's so windy, it's, when he does gobble, it's hard to tell. But I think they're coming this way. Last night when they were over there, they came this way and they came right here. I could have shot both of them hens. So hopefully it all works out. And uh, I'm going to spin this camera back around so I'm not getting busted if they do pop up over this hill.
a bird on a day like today. I am jacked up. I am feeling the rush right now. Oh my God. It has been bitterly cold. It feels like late season deer hunting. I have my forefront suit on from Scentlock and I'm still cold. It's been about 30, low 30s all day with snow and rain and lots of wind. Uh, we roosted three birds last night down in this corner and this morning they slipped us and they went the other way. But uh, this afternoon we came back out. I, I took a little break. I went back home, I ate a little breakfast and I came back out right away. And I spied these turkeys across the road and I didn't think they were going to come. I had two hens come to the decoys, but I was just about ready to give up. I was so cold. I wanted to just go home and have a good supper and start over fresh tomorrow. But I look out the window and these two jakes and some hens were coming and I didn't, I didn't see the tom, but there he was. <laughs> And he gave me, I don't know, a 25, 35 yard shot, something like that. And same old story as last year. It was 410, tungsten load, unreal. Tipped him right over. And we have a big old bird down on the ground, Wisconsin. April 19th, the first day of the first week of turkey hunting. Uh, this last weekend was the youth hunt, and we were on the birds this last weekend, but we just couldn't close the distance between 100, get them in within 100 yards. But uh, we got her done today, and my boys will be jealous now. They'll want to get out and get her done. Uh, he is sitting, I don't know, 9, 10-inch beard probably, you know, the average. And I think he's got an inch and a quarter spurs, so pretty decent spurs on them and a nice pretty fan and we are done first day yes 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 I'm so jacked up oh Whew. on to the next one